The top story at six, a man behind bars on a $2 million bond. Police say he shot and wounded the mother of his five-year-old child. And the victim was also pregnant and lost her unborn child. The suspect allegedly shot the woman's boyfriend as well. Now, this all happened earlier this week, northeast of Denver in North Morgan, Fort Morgan, rather. Our Dylan Thomas is live tonight in Weld County. And Dylan, this has been an extremely emotional week for them. You know, in one hand, they're counting their blessings that two of their loved ones survived this unimaginable attack. But then in the other, they're having to mourn the loss of a baby boy that was due in just one week. Nevertheless, during this terrible time, they're asking for the community's help. The worst thing ever. It's the call any parent dreads. My daughter got shot in the stomach. She was 37 and a half weeks pregnant. Randy Strand's daughter, Sturgis, had been shot in the abdomen allegedly by her ex. This all occurred right next to her five-year-old daughter, two feet away. Which was the daughter of the shooter. Sturgis's boyfriend, Juan, was shot in the shoulder as well. Both were rushed to the hospital while police searched for Andres Garcia. Both Juan and Sturgis survived, but sadly. It was a week away from the baby being born. Baby Mario, yet to be born, did not make it. This baby was... A human. A human, yeah. And he was murdered. Yes. I know not by Colorado law, they don't consider him a human, but baby Mario was a human. Garcia was later located and arrested and charged with two counts of attempted murder, one count of unlawful termination of a pregnancy, and more. It's not enough. It's not there enough. Should it's, it, there should be a murder charge. He was murdered. The family is now left to cope with the loss while also being grateful for those who survived. I thank God every day when I got here, I went to the chapel. Yes. I thank God. Now with mounting hospital bills and a long road to recovery ahead, the family is asking those who can to donate to their crowdfunding effort while also encouraging everyone to hold their loved ones close. And hold your kids and love your kids and tell them you love them every single day because you never know it could be taken away from you in an instant. As you can imagine, very difficult time for this family, which is why they're asking for your help in this crowdfunding effort. We are posting more information on our website, which is cbscolorado.com, on how you can find that crowdfunding website to help them during this difficult time. Reporting live in Weld County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Uh, Dylan, thank you so much.